I will not spin plates to make everyone happy. I will not duck to avoid hitting the glass ceiling. I will not stay in a small box where I cannot control my life. I will not just stand on the sidelines and cheer the team on. I will not carry ancestral baggage, fearful that if I lay down, there will be no purpose in my life. I will not do something well that doesn't make me happy. I will not speak so softly that my voice is not heard. I will not sit at home while others experience the world. I will not wear masks to avoid being seen fully or upsetting others. I will not convince myself that tomorrow will suffice when it comes to following my bliss. I will not play follow the leader unless I am the leader. Follow your bliss. Good evening and welcome to today's um, show of Hear Me Roar. I'm your host, Shelby Steele. And I'm Haley Dyer. And today on our show, we're going to have women that are involved in a lot of things on campus. And me and Haley know that we're involved in a lot. Mm -hmm. So we just got a few girls together that are involved in a lot and is making a difference on campus. Yeah. So Haley, what are you involved in? Um, I'm in the Honors Program, and I'm also in the Center for Regional Engagement. And they have a lot of volunteer opportunities around campus where you can just work with the community and things like that. So that's been a lot of fun. Yeah, I know that I'm involved in a lot. I'm in a sorority, so we're always doing stuff. We're doing community service, and just we're always together doing mm -hmm. something. I'm also in Breckenridge all the time because yeah. I work at the radio station, mm -hmm. which is students that are involved, yeah. and we just have a lot going on all the time. So, yeah. And I'm a biology major, so I'm in Lapin a lot. Um, I'm also in an undergraduate research fellowship, and I study a lot in the lab down there, so that's fun. All right, well, welcome to the show, and we'll be right back after this. All that we are is the result of what we have thought. The mind is everything. What we think, we become. I'm Tony Hobbs, host of MSPR's new show, Good Vibes. Each week, I'll be sifting through hours of material to bring you the best in adult alternative music. You can expect to hear from bands such as Coldplay, Mumford & Sons, The Kicks, and much more. Good Vibes, Mondays from 7 to 10 p.m. on Moorhead State Public Radio. For students living both on and off campus, come check out the new POD Store, located in Alumni Tower. POD Store is a great way for students on campus to go grocery shopping without leaving campus, or for students looking for a place to spend flex dollars on drinks, snacks, and supplies. Remember, if you're by Alumni Tower, visit the POD Store to the right of the catwalk for products on demand when you want them. Welcome back to Hear Me Roar. Right now in the studio we have Annie Franklin with us. She is also involved in a lot, so she's going to tell us more about what that is. So welcome to the show, Annie. Hi, it's good to see you all. Well, actually I'm involved in quite a bit. I think the more as you get older you find different things and you get involved in that. I'm a theater major, so I'm constantly in shows and I'm busy with that. I'm also in Theta Alpha Phi, which is a theater, national honor society, or wow. sorority fraternity, and um, I'm also Greek as well, I'm a Chi Omega here, and I'm also a student alumni ambassador, so we work directly with the president and we work with alumni, so I'm constantly busy, 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 but I make the most out of my college experience by being busy and involved, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, college is all about involvement. Can you tell us more about yourself? Yes, well, I am 20 years old. I'm a junior here. I'm from Winchester, Kentucky, which is just 45 minutes down the road, not too far away. <laughs> yeah. And um, I'm actually, um, I competed in Miss Kentucky this past year, and where I was able to place third runner up, which, you know, I'm very proud of and very happy about. And um, that has just carried with me, you know, through my college experience. It's helped me so much with, like, my interviews and with scholarship money. It, it was a great experience. With everything that you have going on, how do you find time to do that and do Miss Kentucky and just well, everything? Well, you don't sleep. No. <laughs> You just you just have to make time, and I think that's where time management comes 
in the roundabout of things, you have to learn um, where to put uh, the time you want to spend with your friends, your family, and then you have to put your time where you're going to spend with your organizations or school or Miss Kentucky, whatever it may be. It's the whole aspect of time management, which I've learned about a lot in the past couple of years. Um, I know the theater department has a couple of shows coming up, so are you working with those? Well, I am actually working with the second show that will be in this this semester, which is Dangerous Liaisons, and that will be in November. But the current show that's on right now is Evil Dead, and that's October 17th through the 21st. So if you have not gotten your tickets yet, go ahead and get those tickets. They're yep. selling out pretty fast. And they even have a splatter zone in it, which is like a little area in the front where, um, well, the show's about zombies and like killing people and stuff like that. And <laughs> so uh, they'll have a splatter zone in which somebody will like, I guess get sliced or something and yeah. it'll splatter everywhere. So get ready if you're in the splatter <laughs> <Interesting>. zone. <laughs> Alrighty, well thank you and we'll be right back after this. Morehead State University's new state-of-the-art recreation and wellness center offers you the opportunity to get in shape. Come enjoy our track overlooking the basketball courts. Or take our bikes, electricals, treadmills, stair masters, and other cardio machines for a spin to help you break a sweat. And once you've worked up and breathing, pump some iron down in our weight room. Come visit MSU's new Recreation Wellness Center, open 6 a.m. to 10 p.m. on weekdays, today. Do you wish there was somewhere you could go for all your university-related purchases? Did you know that there is? The University Bookstore, located on the first floor of ADUC, has all of your answers. They have school supplies, art supplies, university apparel, and of course, textbooks. Be sure to stop by and visit the University Bookstore today. Welcome back to the show. We still have Annie here with us. Um, so Annie, we have a new freshman class. It's the biggest one we've ever had. So what would you suggest to them in order to start getting involved so they're not lost puppies on campus <laughs> anymore? <laughs> Well, I mean, I think it depends on what your major is and where your interests lie. I know mine were in theater, but I like to be involved everywhere. So I guess if you're kind of like me, just go into, I don't know, different departments with an open mind. I know I heard from a friend about student alumni ambassadors, and so I interviewed, and I was able to get in, and it was another way for me to network on a different side of campus that I would have never been on before, because where I'm always in brick. <laughs> because of theater um you know that was just a way for me to branch out so if you have those things in mind i know they have like bulletin boards with things you can get involved with student alumni ambassadors is one i know spb is one i mean here radio and television that's mm -hmm. one theater is one anybody can audition for any of the shows so i mean the options are endless i would just say just go after it and uh don't hold back why do you think it's so important for people to be involved when they come to college? College is a new step. I mean, high school, you know, that was a different part of your life, but this is a, a new step. And so in order for you to, I guess, make that transformation into adulthood, yeah. uh, it's nice to get involved in things you never were involved in before. So, I mean, just take a chance. You never know what you may find out about yourself. So just out of curiosity, what has been your favorite role that you've ever played? on campus? Oh man. <laughs> well, last year I was a nun in the show <laughs> called Nonsense and so I was a singing nun and what was funny about it is that the before the show started people were waiting around for the show to start and we would go out and we would just intermingle as if we were real life nuns. <laughs> so it, it was just really funny to interact like that and actually one of my friends, she was an Irish nun so she <laughs> had to speak in an Irish accent the whole time which I thought was pretty funny. Yeah. How hard is it to transition from your everyday life to your character that you play? Well, I've been in theater for a very long time, ever since I was little. So I've just learned over the years how to channel whatever energy that I have going on that day, sad, happy, mad, whatever it is, into that character. And so far, that's, that's gone great for me. Uh, maybe I may find another technique, mm -hmm. but that's how I kind of transition things. 
So um, what have been your aspirations like when you graduate? What do you plan to do? When I graduate, I hope to move to New York to pursue a career in theater. I mean, that's the dream. I mean, Steve Kazee, he <laughs> went to New York and he won a Tony Award and he's now starring in the musical Once. Granted, a lot of people are asking me, so how long will it take for you to reach that, that role, that, that lead role? And I said, you know, well, Steve took 10 years. He went after it and didn't stop until he achieved that dream. All right, Annie, well, thank you for being on the show thank today. You. Thank you. And we'll be right back after this. <laughs> Next time, call the MSU van, 783-8747. We're happy to help. Welcome back to Hear Me Roar. Now on the show, we have a little video segment we've mm -hmm. put together. She, Moorhead is really good with athletics and getting international students mm -hmm. involved on campus. And she's a tennis player from New Zealand, so she's going to tell us more about her story. I'm Brian Crispin, I'm from Auckland, New Zealand. I'm on the tennis team here. Um, I'm a freshman and I'm a psychology major. I came to MSU because I really like the coach here. We got on so well and I already knew the team prior to coming here. Before coming to MSU, I was traveling around and doing a tour. Um, I was fortunate, fortunate enough to travel all over the world and meet great people. I also just love sports in general because I'm from New Zealand. I'm a big rugby fan. We have a really, really good girls team next year. Um, hopefully we have the opportunity to win the ABC and go to NCAAs. At least we definitely have to make conference and I have an expectation of winning the ABC. Now on Hear Me Roar, we have another video segment. She is an alum from MSU and she does a lot of quilt works and crafty things. And Haley got the opportunity to interview her, so she's gonna. Um, it's actually my grandma, so it was quite easy to get an interview from her. Um, she just has started a lot of projects and she's really big in crafting and quilting and sewing poetry and she is extremely talented just to see all her work is just incredible. Um, but she will explain a little bit more what she does in the video. You guys will get to see a look inside of all that that she does. Alrighty, so take a look with Haley's grandma and her <laughs> crafting skills. Probably was about eight year old and I made a nine patch and my mother showed me how to do it. And she had a little a square cut out of, of um, cardboard and she used that as a pattern. And I cut out the patterns and then uh, sat down at the sewing machine and she always told me how to sew the straight seam and how to gauge it by the, mm -hmm. the sewing machine, do it. And I, I I made things by hand too. A lot of times then that you know they made them by hand. They sewed them together and stitched yeah. them together. Then but she happened to have a sewing machine. So my first quilt was made by a sewing machine. I was born in uh, McGoffin County, out in the country, near the Licken River. In the year on August the tenth. 1936. It was uh, the best of times and it was the worst of times. Everybody was having a hard time. It reminds me of the times of today or similar to the times 
it was then. My older sister and her family lived and they were making clothes and making quilts and stuff. And she would come up to the house and she and my mother would sew on the porch, they'd move the machine out and sew on the porch. And I decided I wanted to make something too. And I wasn't completely interested in the blocks, they all had names and the quilts had names and stuff, but I wasn't satisfied with that. I wanted to put the way I felt and write stories about certain people and the ones I loved, I wanted to put them on a, a more permanent thing than just a piece of paper. So I would put them on fabric. Well, this one was uh, when uh, the family was moving Louette and her husband, Vint, were moving to Dixie. And I was devastated because they were leaving home. And I wrote Allie this. She's the oldest child. And uh, I put some of the things in it that I thought were important. After all, it's not the house or where it might be. It's really love that shelters the family on our path of life in our circle of days under nighttime stars or the sun's bright rays in the sun shadows of love may we always be daddy and mommy Haley and me for students pursuing a career in the medical health field come check out the new msu share building the share building is located right below st Clair hospital on fleming avenue This building will offer students the chance to further their understanding of medical health and prepare them for a future with state-of-the-art hands-on classes. Welcome back to Hear Me Roar. Now in the studio we have another student. Her name is Marina Kirtland and she's going to share with us her story. So welcome to the show Marina. Thank you. <laughs> so can you tell us a little bit about yourself? Yeah, um, well I'm a biology major first, psychology minor, and I guess that's what's most important. I'm involved in undergraduate research. I'm in the honors program. I'm in a sorority as well. And I do undergraduate research work. I'm from Ashland, Kentucky, and I guess that's about it. <laughs> Can you tell us more about your undergraduate work that you do? Yeah, I actually um, have the pleasure of working with Dr. David Payton in the genetics lab, and we're looking at how fish upregulate their DNA due to contaminants and a lot of technical terms, but I enjoy it. It's been a pleasure. Of all the things that you're involved in, what do you most enjoy? Well, I actually forgot something. My favorite thing, something that lies very close to my heart, is a nonprofit, hopefully soon, organization called BU TIFL. And I've had the pleasure of working with several girls on campus to help plan and organize this little company, I guess. <laughs> and the goal is to help raise self esteem and self concept in younger women because that is something that plagues everybody from puberty to death so my understanding is not only are you involved in it but you also help get it started is that correct yeah it was it was, <laughs> it was my idea and it came to me while watching Miss Congeniality and Toddlers and Tiaras on flip <laughs> and I started asking my mom why she never put me in pageants and we started discussing how you have to have the stereotypical pageant body and I mean, I'm five foot six so <laughs> <laughs> and we just continued discussing it and I thought about how often women are stopped by their insecurities or don't do something don't go 110 percent and that's kind of where the idea came from yes that is very true and I'm very glad that you have started this on campus do you know of any 
other places that have had this or is it the first one? I think that it's something that's becoming more of an awareness. Um, I've heard about a lot of things that are kind of popping up, people trying and it kind of sputters out. So I've actually been able to build a lot of support, especially from the university and that's been incredible. Just really wanting to get behind it because so many people have had, oh, let's do that and then something stands in the way. And yeah. also the Center for Regional Engagement has been a big help too. They have. Because very involved, mm -hmm. very pushing for what's best for the program and it's helping make me like to make the contacts. I wouldn't know who to contact. So. <laughs> All right, well, we'll be right back after this. To hear me roar, we're still in the studio with Marina and she's going to give us a little more info about her new project and then some other things. Um, so if I was a student that wanted to get involved with Be Beautiful, how would I go among doing that? Well, right now we're at the beta testing stage. Our plan is to do a test run in the Rowan County school system. Hopefully all goes well. And assuming it does, then we will try to implement it in other schools. I know personally I'd like to take it home to Boyd County. And hopefully when all goes well, then we would love to have women, men, whoever felt moved to help take it to their schools. And really it would just be a matter of contacting me and that's all it takes. <laughs> um, if you don't care, can you explain a little bit more about like each session and what you plan to do at the schools? Yes. Um, well, after a long semester of planning, we really thought it through and decided to do like a weekend retreat with these girls because it's hard to work the schedules of the school together and just get everything aligned right and to pull those students out of class. Our goal is to work with freshmen and to do a weekend retreat talking about how to be a lady, um, bullying, relationships, eating healthy, etc. and whatnot, just really how to handle life's problems better and to handle them classy. Yeah, I'm actually part of this group <laughs> too. I know Marina really well, but it is going to be such an amazing experience. I'm so excited to be a part of it. Very okay. blessed to have you. I so can't, wait. <laughs> can't wait to see it get started. So like I said before, with freshman enrollment being so high this yeah. year, how would you suggest people getting more involved and why do you think it's so important for them to get involved? Well, I think the easiest way to get involved is a lot like what Annie said, to just really push forward and maybe try something out of your comfort zone. I actually danced in the dance department. I'm a science major, so that was crazy and I learned so much and I recommend doing something that's not necessarily what you'd expect to do. Yeah, That worked out really well for me. and to just try something new. So you are involved in a lot of things on campus, so what do you do on your free time? Sleep. <laughs> <laughs> I hang out with my sisters and enjoy my amazing life. Yeah. So. I know in college you have the triangle, like you're social, you're <laughs> sleeping, your schoolwork, so you always have to balance out the triangle. Caffeine, <laughs> <laughs> a lot of caffeine. Yeah, sometimes things slack a little bit. But that's all the time we have, so thank you for coming thank on the you. show. Thank you. And we'll be right back after this. For students living both on and off campus, come check out the new POD store, located in Alumni Tower. POD store is a great way for students on campus to go grocery shopping without leaving campus, or for students looking for a place to spend flex dollars on drinks, snacks, and supplies. 
Remember, if you're by Alumni Tower, visit the POD store to the right of the catwalk for products on demand when you want them. Moorhead State University's new state-of-the-art recreation and wellness center offers you the opportunity to get in shape. Come enjoy our track overlooking the basketball courts. Or take our bikes, ellipticals, treadmills, stairmasters, and other cardio machines for a spin to help you break a sweat. And once you've worked up and breathing, pump some iron down in our weight room. Come visit MSU's new Recreation Wellness Center, open 6 a.m. to 10 p.m. on weekdays, today. Welcome back to Hear Me Roar. Now in the studio we have Montana Hobbs, who is going to play us a little banjo. And she just recently got started with learning how to play the banjo. So Montana, can you tell us how you got started? Sure. Um, I started playing the banjo about this time last year, and I enrolled in classes at the Kentucky Center for Traditional Music. It's on East First Street. We've got a beautiful new building and an awesome uh, staff working there, and they've taught me everything I know. And it's just really fun, and we travel all over the state and play all kinds of different gigs. And What made you want to learn how to play the banjo? Well, I always wanted to play music. Um, the guitar kind of hurt my fingers, and uh, I thought it was kind of a lot of other people played the guitar, and I wanted to do something a little bit differently, and you don't see a whole lot of girl banjo players, so I also thought that was kind of unique. All right, Montana, thank you for coming on, and now she's going to play us a little song. This song is called I've Endured, and it's an old song by Ola Bell Reed. Thank you. 